All right, the time is now 6.38. Hard to believe prom is almost here. we got the cherry blossom here already. And pollen, too, apparently. Yes, yeah. very much pollen. <laughs> I know, we saw some hints of yellow through the weekend, and I really do think this week is just going to be the explosion mm. across central Georgia. With pollen galore, everything's going to be yellow by the time we get to Friday for two reasons. One, we saw the rain over the weekend, but then temperatures getting into the 70s this week. It's just kind of the perfect recipe here for that to happen. Here's a live look over downtown. You wouldn't guess it based off the current temperature. It's 41 in Macon and later on today we're going to get into the 50s and scrape by the low 60s. Of course, everything has shifted ahead an hour now because of daylight saving time beginning through the weekend. So that high temperature is going to happen a little later in the day. We're at 39 in Forsyth, 39 in Roberta, 41 over in Milledgeville and in Gordon this morning, 37 in Sandersville and 43 in Bleckley County. Down to the south, do have some cloud cover in place. Uh, don't be surprised to see some of that get its way into central Georgia by the time we get into the afternoon and there it is on future view by the noon hour temperatures in the low 50s. We will continue to warm into the low 60s across central Georgia with a light breeze through the day today and then on into the overnight hours. Clear skies prevail with overnight low temperatures near 40 degrees, so somewhat similar to where we are this morning. But then for tomorrow afternoon, look at this getting into the low 70s across central Georgia. And if you like that trend, we're going to continue that into Wednesday as well, getting into the mid 70s there. Now through the weekend, we did pick up 2.19 inches of rain there on Saturday. That's on top of almost three quarters of an inch on Friday. You add it all up uh, really for the past uh, you know, a week or so only uh, since March 1st, 4.8 inches of rain that puts us up nearly three and a third above average now. And because of that, we do have flood warnings still in effect. This is going to be for the Flint River from Upson County down through Montezuma, Macon County and into Lake Blackshear. The Okmulgee River from Macon all the way down to Telfair County now a flood warning in place. And then also along the Oconee River that's going to be from just south of Lake Sinclair on the Washington Wilkinson County lines down into uh, Dublin there and on into Trutland County here and uh, expect that to continue the, the flood warning that is for the next several days as all the water kind of flushes out of the river system into the Gulf of Mexico and into the Atlantic Ocean. Now the other thing obviously through the weekend we sprung forward daylight saving time begun. That doesn't mean we add on an hour of daylight. We are adding on about two to three minutes each day but we just shifted everything ahead an hour. So sunrise at 749 this morning sun that's going to be at 740, but look at this by April 1st. So just three weeks away from today, we are going to add another 40 minutes of daylight. And then in, by May 1st, we're going to add another hour on top of that 13 and a half hours worth of daylight. So the days are continuing to get longer. And of course they will continue to do that until we get to the summer solstice. That is on June 20th this year. Let's take a look at the long range future view. We will be dry for Thursday as we get into Friday. Yeah, there it is. Another system working its way into our area. Obviously, that's the start of the Cherry Blossom Festival. The European trying to keep some showers around for Saturday before another system works its way in here for Sunday. That is St. Patrick's Day, so we're going to be watching the forecast carefully. As of now, I've got a 40% chance of rain there. Between now and Friday, though, a really nice forecast. Temperatures warming into the upper 70s by the time we get to the end of the week. But we do have a 60% chance of showers and storms on Friday, then a 40% chance of showers and storms on Sunday.